What's up YouTube? The kid here with another The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword update. Now more news has been revealed with these new characters that are have been seen in the E3 trailer. So I'm going to go through it and tell you guys basically uh, who they are and what's the facts on them as of now. So here um, is the ma main villain so to speak. Uh, as we know he's the main villain. And for the first time, we know his name. And his name is Gerahim. That's right. It's Gerahim. Um, it's a little spelled weird, but um, it's kind of an awesome name, Gerahim. So he's um, a demon lord. So um, that's the first time I think we actually had an actual demon in The Legend of Zelda. Um, yeah, you can call... Ganondorf one, but he wasn't outright. He was more called the Dark Lord. Uh, so, but um, anyway, this is the artwork for uh, for Gerahim. So he looks rather theatrical, and actually, that's what um, they describe him as: theatrical um, type of villain. He's uh, kind of he is a baddie. I mean. I mean, I've seen on uh, GT the gameplay, uh, his boss battle, and uh, he was creepy. I mean, he was, like, behind Link. He was, like, waggling his tongue and stuff. It was, it was like, weird stuff. It was, like, like that stuff from uh, the exorcism, you know, just it was just very disturbing. So he's kind of a scary character from as far as what I could see. So basically what's uh, going on is that... Uh, his story, what it says here, it says that he's a figure of authority in the land below um, that uh, Skyloff, who thinks highly of him. So um, I don't I don't know about that. And he prefers to be called Lord Garahim. And it, and it also says at some point in the game, he summons a tornado in Skyloft, sucks up Link and Zelda. However, he fails to capture his target, Zelda, because of a servant of the goddess took her instead. Girahim's main interest appears to capture her. So, yeah, Zelda. So he's trying to capture Zelda for whatever reason. No one knows. So, um... Who knows? Um, also, people also think he looks um, similar to the Gilded Sword. Um, I forgot which game that was. Maybe one of you guys can tell me. And um, it's also uh, that it says that his strength uh, maybe exceeds um, Ganon's and uh, uh, Majora's Wrath. So I don't know. He he actually blocked Link's sword with just two fingers. And while Link had the Skyward Sword, so he he really um, is pretty pretty um, strong. So he might be stronger than Ganondorf. So we don't know if Ganondorf's in this game actually. So um, yeah. So anyway, uh, Garahim also has a sword. Um, it's kind of a dark looking sword, which looks pretty scrawny, but it's pretty small sword, but um it definitely looks like it can do some damage um and uh yeah so that's pretty much what's on uh Garahim. he basically has powers you know teleportation and all that so yeah now let's move on to um this other woman who i said in the last video was zelda and it actually appears yes that is in fact zelda so um yeah she looks very reminiscent to um how she looked in link to the past actually um you know with the hair and stuff um and um yeah she looks really really like that and um i don't think she's a realized princess at this point um it seems like she's not because uh I think her father's here, but maybe there's a a little backstory or something because right now it just doesn't seem like she's really princess. She seems really happy and outgoing, unlike the Twilight Princess version of her, um, which is, you know, she's, you know, a ruler at that point and she's more, she's more, you know, 
um, she's more formal, the Twilight Princess. This one is more, seems to be more fun loving and uh, outgoing because in some of the gameplay, she jumps right at Link. She jumps off a cliff just to get on Link's uh, bird with him. So, yeah, this is actually Zelda. So, uh, Zelda returns to being a blonde. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, she's a blonde again. So, yeah, there's not really any much, um, any much information on her. Just basically, uh, Garahim, uh, tries to capture her. And, uh, so that's pretty much it. And this is her artwork too, what you're seeing and her bird and still haven't, Gotten word what those birds are. Um, no, no confirmed name. So um, another uh, thing is uh, when I was talking about Garahim was uh, trying to capture Zelda. He was uh, voided by that uh, trying to capture her because of uh, because of us a, um, a guardian of the goddess or a servant of the goddess which is actually the woman in the first teaser image of the Legend of Zelda Sky for Sword. So um, we actually get a name for once. So, um, and her name uh, is Fee. That's what it is, it's Fee. Pretty simple, huh? Didn't you think it would be something complex, more complex than that? But yeah, that's... Uh, her name is Fee. Now, E.G. Anoma says that uh, that Fee is uh, genderless, but it does. A, I mean, it is a spirit, so it basically is genderless. But it can be, um, you know, it can be, you know, a girl because it's coming off and looking like a woman, so it can just be a girl at this point. No one really cares. So you see a picture of her uh, approaching Link and stuff. Also, the game looks really beautiful. I, I like the textures. It really looks like HD, actually. And a lot of people don't like the art style, but I do. I find it pretty cool. So anyway, Fee um, basically is the one that saves uh, Zelda um, and Link. In the trailer, you can see her appearing to Link while he was falling. Uh, so... Um, yeah, so um, what information is on her is it says the, the Skyward Sword is located on Fuller Ining, known as uh, Skyloft. However, Link eventually finds the sword, uses it to travel between two lands, Skyloft, um, an island floating above the clouds, and Hyrule, which is being ruled by evil forces. So Hyrule is basically just a bad place uh it's just overrun by monsters and stuff and according to eg anoma when the sky sword is helping link it will transform into fee um um and will lead the young hero back and forth from skyloft to the land below moreover fee has a treasure seeking ability and where it can sense important items and information link um inform Link about him, and Fee will also focus on the reason why uh, there are two lands divided by a uh, a blanket of, uh, of clouds. So, also, that's basically her background. That's what's going on as far as we know. There's probably more to it in the coming uh, months. But also, um, Miyamoto said that this game won't be as much dungeon based as the other Legend of Zelda's. It won't be you go to a dungeon, you beat that dungeon, you don't have to do nothing else there. Even though there's hidden treasures and stuff in there, you really don't have to go there anymore. But this time you will be having to uh, go back and forth to uh, dungeons, unlock new areas and new items and everything. So it's going to be kind of like Metro, uh, reminiscent of Metroid style uh, of gameplay and. Uh, you know, adventuring, uh, going back to the same area, unlocking new areas with, you know, different items and stuff that you couldn't have the first time around. So, um, yeah. Also, still no word on how you'll get the, the gold Wii remote, but I think maybe by pre-ordering with, um, 
with GameStop because I already pre-ordered it, which I'm very happy about. So hopefully that way, or hopefully you get it like as a bonus if uh, if or maybe it's it's a bonus at GameStop or something. When you buy the game, you can if you pre-order it, you get this pack and stuff. This uh, this um. Uh, Wii Motion Plus with the Go Remote packed in with the game, like in a box, or maybe you gotta go register it with Club Nintendo, like uh, um, they said you have to do with um, uh, what's it called, Ocarina of Time. So yeah, so uh, that's it for this updates, guys. I'll be doing more updates on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword as more things are revealed. Thank you.